Welcome back everybody to another YouTube video. Today, we are finally back with another episode of the bulking series number 23. Now the winter is finally upon us. I mean, it is almost December, so it's really getting cold outside. You guys know what that means. It means you can dress warm at the gym and not be guilted into taking off your pump cover. So no one knows what you look like under all those clothes. And that is a perfect opportunity for you and me to get huge this winter without anybody knowing. And then when we take off that pump cover come July, June, summer, it's gonna be a different level of gains. Guest appearance from my dog. She is currently in a bulking phase as well. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I've got her eating three bowls of kibble a day, but she doesn't always get the meals in, so we gotta work a little bit harder. Yeah, get her on a program. Isn't that right, Bob? So I just kind of developed a headache. I realized I haven't had any water today. So I'm gonna work on hydrating before we head over to the gym later on in the video. I think I'm definitely gonna eat some food as well. Uh, I wanna have like a nice meal in my stomach before we go hit the weights. So drink up. All right, now it looks like I have orange juice but I have no frozen mango for my daily smoothie. You guys already know if you've subscribed for a while that uh, daily smoothies are essential. So I'm probably gonna go pick up some mango and then some other quick items at the grocery store. All right, let's grab some food. A few minutes later. All right guys, here at the grocery store, I'm gonna show you guys a couple key items I like to pick up when I'm on a bulk. Just small stuff, nothing major, but Things for you guys to keep in mind when you go to the store yourself. Pasta, three euro pop, not bad. And the rice is like a euro. Now next up, I like to get a protein. I usually go for beef. This one here has 15% fat, so I like a little bit of a fattier beef, so that's what I go for. I also like chicken, so I'll get some of that. Sometimes I get sick of eating the same protein every day, so I like to alternate between chicken, beef, sometimes I'll even do salmon, but just keep it interesting. Got the mango that I came for. Also just gonna grab a little snack food, easy for cheap calories. All right guys, got everything we needed. Let's head back. All right, so we're back. First things first, gonna make my smoothie. All right, we got our protein cooked up, shaker. All right, pre-workout meal, ready to go. I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go to the gym. As you can see, I got my little dipping sauce here. It's curry sauce. Let me just take my chicken tender, I go like this, boom. Mm. Let's eat. This smoothie recipe, by the way, is phenomenal. I could almost drink this twice a day with three or four normal meals just to bump up the calories even more. Insane. All right guys, gym time, walking up right now. We're gonna get some chest, shoulders, and triceps work done today. Nothing too serious. My recovery the last couple of days hasn't been the best, so I wanna take it semi-easy today, but we're still gonna have a good lift. So yeah, let's go. The winter weather here in Dublin, Ireland where I live, is no joke. It is freezing cold out here. All I'm wearing is a hoodie. But by the time I get into that gym in two minutes, I'm gonna be warm and ready to lift because I've been, you know, briskly walking and my blood flow is kind of going a lot higher now. So let's get in there, let's train. All right guys, we're here. I'm nice and warm in this hoodie. I'm about to take this off, but like I said, doing a push workout today. So chest, shoulders, and triceps, all of the movements that focus on a pushing motor pathway. So like a shoulder press, dip, which is a press, anything that just targets those three muscle groups, that's what I'm working on today. This is the best push workout that I use to gain mass in my bulking season. So follow along, let's get it going. Best thing you guys can do to reduce your risk of injury, because you do not want to get injured, trust me, it will set you back months. Best thing you can do is to get really, really warm. I mean, almost sweating. 
before you start every single workout. That's gonna lubricate your joints, increase blood flow to your extremities, so that way when you're doing your heavy sets, you're gonna be much more capable of withstanding high levels of force. You're not gonna snap something, pop something, tear something, break something. It's gonna be worth it in the long run. I know it's a pain in the ass before you start your lifts every single time, but it's so worth it. We don't need any crazy volume today, guys. Two really heavy sets to failure for each exercise is pretty much all I'm going for. One more of these and then we're moving on. All right guys, so finished up on shoulder press. Next exercise, I'm gonna do our weighted dips. These are absolutely insane for building up the chest, shoulders and triceps all at the same time. It's basically like one of my favorite movements to do as a compound exercise, especially on a bulk, just because of how good of a mass builder it is. So I'm gonna put some weight on my waist, strap that on with like a belt, and I'm gonna do two really hard sets. But first, I gotta warm up. So I ended up actually doing three sets of those weighted dips. Oh my God, like there's so much force that you need to produce coming out of the bottom of the rep to get back up to the top. Like you can literally feel every single muscle fiber in your chest and your shoulders working. It's insane. So next up, I'm gonna rip some triceps. Usually I'm gonna do either a straight bar push down or a tricep rope cable push down. This time I'm gonna do a straight bar. Try to go in the eight to 10 rep range, keeping the form really strict. I don't wanna cheat the reps at all, but on those last few, if I need to, I'm gonna do a little shove to get it down, but two or three good sets to failure, eight to 10 reps. Oh, 
right guys, workout done, time to head back. Yeah, that was a really quick session. I mean, you don't need to be in the gym for more than 45 minutes to an hour. Sometimes it's nice to hang out there and just do a little bit of extra stuff and have fun, but on a day like today where I just wanted to get in, get out, get my sets done and my volume, 45 minutes. All right guys, back from the gym. By the way, you guys see the outfit right now, the joggers, the hoodie, the tank I'm wearing. All of the gym clothes I wear are from Young LA. There is a gigantic Black Friday sale going on right now. It ends on November 28th. So when you guys are watching this video, that sale is still gonna be live. Code Lee is gonna save you guys 30% off instead of the normal 15. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Stock up on some stuff because it's never gonna be this cheap for for a long time. Post-workout routine uh, involves struggling to get out of this tank and getting into my normal clothes. Unfortunately, I'm very behind on food today, so I'm gonna be up late tonight, but I know what I'm gonna cook. I've got some secret weapons in my back pocket, and I'm gonna show you guys some cheat codes I use to get in calories when you're behind on food. So prepping up my post-workout meal, I got the usual beef and rice. Rice is gonna take about 20 minutes to cook, so I'm gonna get started on that already. 15% beef, you guys. If you look right there at the fat percentage, it's actually 18 grams per 100, which means this is 18% fat. Fat is not the enemy. You guys should not fear fat. So when it comes to things like beef, chicken, putting a little bit of extra fat in those proteins sometimes makes them a lot more palatable, way easier to eat. So I always opt for the higher fat options, especially when I'm trying to gain weight. I have so much more food to eat than just this bowl of beef and rice alone because of how behind on food I am. One of the biggest downsides of bulking is if you have a really productive day work-wise, you're always gonna be behind food-wise, but if you have a really productive day food-wise, it's gonna be a low productivity day. Like you can never have both. I'm convinced it's almost impossible if you're doing the bulk like legitimately the right way. And it's not like I'm complaining, you know, it's just a part of the process, but you do have to make sacrifices and on a bulk, one of those things is time. You're gonna lose a lot of your personal time to eating. Coke Zero, sponsor me. An hour and a half later, I wish that this was the same clip, but it's not. We have another bowl of the exact same meal, hot sauce, honey, 250 grams of beef, and 125 grams of dry weight white rice. Let's take this down, and then after this, we have one more snack to eat. That's my cheat code. I'm gonna show you guys what that is. It's like the easiest six or 800 calories on the planet, but for now, I have to conquer this beast. So as promised, I told you guys I would give you a little insight into one of my cheat codes for hitting my calories. So a lot of people have this misconception that you need to eat 100% clean or all of the hard work you do doesn't matter if you have like a few cheat foods. That's really not how it works at all. You can absolutely still accomplish your fitness goals, whether it be bulking or cutting and still have like cheat foods like cookies, which is what I'm about to have. You just need to make sure that about 80% of what you're eating is going towards your fitness goals and then the other 20% is more of just an enjoyment food as long as you're hitting your calories hitting your protein and you're not like spilling over in those two numbers or not eating enough protein whatever it is you're gonna be fine so right here I have some hot tea now it's just tea you know and I'm gonna get these little custard cream cookies so in this packet there is 10 custard creams I'll show you what they look like there's 10 of these bad boys. They have this little cream filling. 60 calories per cookie times 10 gives you 600 calories. What I do is I dip these in the tea to make them soft. And then I just eat them like that. That right there, 60 calories. That took me five seconds. At this point in my day, I've had three really big meals for 3,200 calories, but now with these, these are gonna put me at 3,800, which is gonna take me from maintenance calories to being in a surplus, which is gonna help me bulk up. So don't be afraid to have like a little cheat code snack in your back pocket if you're behind on food for the day, like I was.
Gorilla Dream sleep formula so I get a crazy good night's sleep tonight. Helps me recover from that workout I had earlier. <sighs> a little gross, but chug it down quick. Okie dokie guys, it is time for me to go to bed. Thank you all for watching another YouTube video. As always, don't forget to drop a like if you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.